Hey guys, so welcome to the Sims 4 Parenthood game trailer reaction and I'm really excited about this one. I'm so excited I decided to take the time to set up my fancy vlog camera and see if I can do some sort of fun little face cam thing. I don't usually do this but I know I'm going to be ridiculously hyper and excited over the things that are coming to the Sims 4. We're developing the families more, we're adding even more traits to the kids and to the parents and to their relationship. I really don't exactly know what we're doing because I haven't looked at the trailer yet but I figured I'd be so excited I wanted to share my expressions and share my excitement as directly with you guys as possible. So we're gonna try this out let me know how it goes if it's something that's fun or not if you just get distracted by the absolutely amazing birds that I have both um you know in the background and maybe on my desk but I'm really excited. A lot of you guys know that I have been a generational family player in The Sims since Sims 2. I love being able to play from one generation to the next and watch as their legacy and their story builds up over time. And something that made it very hard to slip as deeply into Sims 4 is I really wanted to. I was eager to really just fall as passionately for Sims 4 as I did for Sims 2 and Sims 3. But I was missing something, a short little something that likes to draw on walls and cry and learn to walk and that was toddlers that sense of a family unit really being able to have your parents interact with your kids and your kids behave like kids and be able to watch as a sim starts off as a teensy little baby and then grows up into this adult Whoop. and I'm already figuring out that there might be some hiccups to this new design so anyway richness of their life all over the place uh, being able to see the sims just explore their stories at different stages of their life look back on it and savor the entire beautiful arc that their life was with you. That's my style of Sims gameplay. That's something that I've always really loved in the Sims series, something I've always really loved bringing to life in all the stories I tell. And you guys know I'm very loyal to the Sims series because it is how we started our entire community, our whole channel. The reason my URL says Siri Sims is because we used to be exclusively a simming YouTube channel and have just evolved into so much more than that and it has changed my life. So that's why I love Sims. And that's why I'm very excited about this new game Game pack. I have not yet looked at it. I'm really excited to see it. I just know it's parenthood and something about traits with kids. So let's jump in and, and see it because I'm so happy to share this with you guys. Already right here we have this adorable toddler with that adorable hair. I'm still super thrilled about toddlers. I can't wait to play more with them. I want to do a, a daycare challenge and this may be the perfect time to add in a true daycare challenge if it's what I think it may be. But she seems to be holding a couple cups so let's go ahead and play the trailer and see what kind of chaos she's going to get into. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. And? All right. Oh, look at the mess she made. And look at that shirt. That's totally a shirt I would wear. I love the cold shoulder shirts. Oh, and her mom gave her a little hug. Okay, and the teenagers, are those pimples? Oh, did you see the spinny thing in the background? Oh, cold shoulders again. All right, so this mom is having enough of the kids doing something. I see the activity table. Oh, the little girl's crying. And she had a little gap between her teeth. Have we already had that added in yet? All right, let's see. Oh, and she's building. Look at the little house. What is that box? Is that my, what was that? I saw something. Oh my gosh, there's a volcano. Science projects, science projects with your kids. Oh my gosh, the Green family would love that. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the little popsicle sticks, flowers. That hair is so cute. Oh my goodness, do we have that hair yet? Also, I can't believe they had a fireplace in their back, like in the their house, because I'm too nervous to ever use fireplaces in my Sims houses. All right, shape your Sims childhood. Got it, got it. And then personalize your household. Look, is that a laundry basket? No, I think that was a craft basket. Oh my gosh, was that the whole family actually doing something? Oh my goodness, and is that parent tucking their kid in? Oh guys. <laughs> I am really excited, okay. That was a lot more than I was expecting. So let me go back through and we're gonna look at it again, slow down a little bit so we can try to see uh, exactly what we're looking at. So let's go back through again, a lot slower. Whoops, did I just speed it up? I just speed, sped it up, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> All right, let's reduce the speed and go through. I see the potty, because I know the potty. Oh, and is that a new shower curtain with the elephants? 
that is a new shower curtain with the elephants. All right, so let's see what we have here. And I'll pause as we go along the way. That is a spaced theme bedding. We're actually going to be doing uh, Summer in Space this summer as one of our seasonal events. And working with our Sims in Sims 4 with space and Sims 3 in space is actually one of my projects. So that makes me really excited to see. I also see, have we had a desk set up like that for homework for teenagers before? Decorative skateboards, new decals, a lot of new decals. Look, there's two or three different science project pieces in here. We've got a science project to the far left over here that it's actually, it looks like a little, a little like solar system. Not very well made. I think there's another well made solar system. Maybe you have different levels of skills for being able to craft these things. Let's see, more decals. That mirror may be new or it may have come with glamour stuff, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what's over here on the, this uh, dresser. Is that a dresser? That could also possibly be a bookshelf because that would be cool. I definitely love that bedding. That space bedding is really fun. I would definitely use it for Alia Green because that would totally be something that would be good for her. We've got the little robots, which I think are definitely new. I haven't seen those robots before, so I wonder if there's different things you can build. We definitely see that later, so let's keep going. Let's see, oh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff on the ground. Look at the mess you can make in your teenager's room now. It looks like you have the super messy music loving teen on the left and the like very tidy sports and science teen on the right. And it looks like they're teasing each other. Yeah, he's doing the, the like fake, the fake thing. So let's see, it looks like pimples. Oh, and then see behind him, compared to the other teenager's little science project where it was like mismatched paint and just some styrofoam, behind this guy you actually have a proper orrery where you've got all of the different pieces swirling around each other for a little space solar system. So that's pretty fun. Look at that. Yeah, and then you can see between these two behind them again is another example of looking at a whole solar system project, but it doesn't look very well done. So I wonder if there's two different levels of skills you can do to build those things. I'm definitely gonna, there's a page somewhere with all sorts of hints and tips from what the gurus have talked about on Twitter. Is that picture behind her new? Who's that supposed to be? For some reason, the first thing that pops in my head is like a beetle, maybe like one of the beetles. I think some of those pictures are definitely new. Looks like a very irritated mom. And it looks like I, I've read just glimpses and there's a page that has all sorts of details that have been gathered from the Twitter conversations with some of the gurus. But I think there's different skills you can enforce and shift around with your kids now by doing different parenting techniques. All right, let's pause and look at this again because there's a lot of stuff going on. We have different colors of that clutter mess down here on the ground. It looks like new furniture everywhere. How much furniture is this? Normally you don't get as many things per like game pack. So this is either, they must be ramping up like how much you get per game pack or something because this is pretty amazing. I see little blocks in the background. That adorable tub. There's a little tub that's just full of toys. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be awesome to be able to do like a little daycare challenge. Maybe we'll do like an alien daycare challenge. That could be our, our tying in with the summer in space sort of theme or maybe an alien who runs the daycare. I don't know, that would be really adorable. And then I've seen a few screenshots of this just when like I, I see something. I've been trying not to look on purpose so that I could save it for doing this with you guys. But it looks like we have a chore chart right here that might be useful for training our sims up somehow and more space things, jungle! Oh, there's a little there's a little lion and a little monkey so we've got some pictures that the kids have made over here looks like space pictures over here little helicopter fire truck uh this looks like a little envelope slot for the kids the toy chest we've had then back here it looks like there's a new station for being able to build those projects and that's going to be one of the new activity tables the old activity table i think that's the old activity table but it looks different to me for some reason so maybe that's not the one we already have is right over here to the left. There's a whole little craft supply station. This looks like the kids are just going to get spoiled with selection of toys. This is fantastic. I'm very excited about this already. All right, so let's see. 
she's crying and upset and dad is coming over she has a, a new shirt i haven't seen that shirt before uh, and she has that little gap between her teeth, which we may have after the vampire stuff pack where it may have been patched in I'm not sure and it looks like he's teaching her how to deal with her emotions So that may be a trait that the parents can give I know there's a parenting quiz where you can be like a relaxed parent the cool parent uh, different things like that So maybe there's different parenting styles. It's not just one type of skill There's different routes that you can go with trying to raise your kids so here he is reading a book and she's building some blocks. I wonder if he's reading like the um, the different facts. And look at this cute little thing up in the top left here. It looks like they've got little medals, little medallions. Oh my gosh, that's a train in the background, not a fire truck after all. Look, she built her little house. Isn't that cute? So she built the house and is feeling pretty happy about that. Okay, so that's a new thing we can do. And there's all these boxes. And I saw just on Twitter that there's theory that each different box is something different for the kids to build and create and that you can work with the parents on them so there's a new science station looks like oh okay so look at this we've got a really cool looking castle then we move to like a tesla-ish coil thing then we move to a bridge which is probably related to the house that she just built out of the block pieces Oh, there's so much! And then there's the really fancy looking space thing. We saw a not so fancy version of it too. Maybe you can do like different projects now. There's the not so fancy robot. Here is, oh it even has little houses along the side. That volcano is so cool. I would totally use the get together club system to be able to give my kids after school clubs now that they could do these things in because that would really enhance their gameplay. That would really enhance their story and the storytelling possibilities. I would totally be into that that would be amazing <laughs> oh my goodness and so now they're in the backyard and then you can see actually to the far uh left over here the popsicle thing so there's a lot of new things this is a lot more than i'm used to seeing in a game pack so this is very exciting and she made a little water rocket that's so cute oh my gosh that's adorable and she looks really into it and then there's a new, that's a new icon that the father's displaying there. And he looks very proud of himself. All right, we have another building station. So it looks like we have at least two or three activity stations where they can build at. Uh, yeah, there's the bridge building set. I feel like the stuff over on this end table is new. Is that bread box new? Look, there's a ceramic plate with like little drawings on it. Just how much stuff are the kids going to be able to do? This is going to be fantastic. I'm going to have to play with the Green family on a whole new level now. We have a toddler, a kid, and a teenager for Pine Green's family at the moment. And I kind of don't want to play them until this comes out so that we can see and experience all of it with them. This is going to be fantastic. I know Devin would love to play that way. All right, so we've got a toddler kid and a teen here. The kid goes ahead and burps, and I think that the father scolded her for it. The mom just kind of gasps about it. The dad looks totally grossed out. The little kid looks totally amused. That's really adorable little story storytelling lineup they did. Mom also does does the burp. So it looks like maybe it'd be interesting if your kids could inherit your behavior because that would be really cool. Teenager has pimples, which will definitely help to do separate the way the teens look so much like young adults in The Sims 4. That's going to help out a lot. Having more teen specific clothing, teen specific appearances and tweaks would definitely help. So it looks like that little kid spilled a bunch of stuff on the ground, but then she grows up to do art at the activity table. I really like mom's pants, by the way. Those are really cute. And then we've got, oh look, and now she's, uh, her mom has gotten a little older and her daughter has grown up to be a master painter. How fun is that? And I love how they did the different color in mom's hair. She's getting a little older with some gray up in her hair. Oh, encourage your kids, shape their childhood, encourage your little artist. So we definitely have, I, I guess that might be a decor item piece then, the little display of the, the plate that has painting on it. Now interesting to note we might want to make sure we see some like mom mom and dad dad and like alien dad sort of recolors of this then we've also got uh i guess that is that a laundry hamper <laughs> is that like a hint at a future thing because i know there's this laundry movement i don't really understand but there's a big movement for a laundry stuff pack on twitter all the time we have personalize your household i wonder if that means you can set a chore chart and your sims will be 
like encouraged to autonomously do the chores because that would be really fun too oh my gosh and if you guys are wondering when this comes out it comes out on the 30th of this month there's the toy tub oh oh my gosh that's so cute look at this teddy bear it is a little teddy bear that you can interact with and you can put like a little oh like a little medical set that's adorable oh my goodness i love that i wonder what kind of skills that gives the kids oh my goodness okay and then we've got enjoy new family activities so you can see an elder an adult a teenager and a child all working together at building something at this building block table so that's one that's one family unit thing that they can do right there which is really fun and then here's another one two adults a toddler a child and a teen all together unsure if the toddler is actually just standing there it looks like she has a sippy cup in her hands so i don't know if she's interacting with the group and watching or if she's just kind of posed next to them but they're working with what looks to be like that tesla coil thing for the electronics so that's two spots that the family is interacting at together that already blows everything else out of the water because i think we really only have like sitting down to eat when you can get all of the age groups together the television um gosh like what else some of the the card games the fire pit so this will give them something more to do do together i really really miss the ability to fish together you can have sims fishing at the same time but they don't talk to each other they don't interact uh they don't react to each other's catches i think that would be a really cool dynamic to add back in because i love doing that in the sims too so they're have they're definitely going to have more ways to do activities together this is really fun and then we're tucking the child in. So that is really fun. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. So that's the that's the, the game pack. And it's going to be coming out May 30th. And I'm very excited. May 30th is also the day before I actually go to Taiwan. So that's going to make things very interesting for me. But all right. So with that done, let's go ahead. And there's actually a list that I have tucked away of parenting game pack information. So let me just read through some of it and see if we have anything. We can have rebellious teens. Toddlers can chomp down on siblings now. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. And I'm reading this guide from simlishanddreams.tumblr.com. This is just stuff she's collected from different sources. And I stumbled on it when I was browsing Tumblr. Uh, toddlers can dump things on the floors to make messes like sugar, spice, etc. Parents can issue punishments like grounding, time out, and setting curfews. Very interesting. There's a family bulletin board which is used to set curfew among other things. Parenting skill has 10 levels. What a parent can direct their children to do is based on their skill level. Parenting skill can be studied from magazines and online forums. Character value traits, if your son takes the time to teach their children good manners, like setting the table, setting the table, what, what? <laughs> and trying not to burp, swear, or fart, so, what, <laughs> that's the thing now? <laughs> they can grow up with new traits that will positively affect their lives forever. Or if they don't do these things, there are traits or consequences of another stripe. Aspiration. And information hasn't been released yet, but it's probably going to be something with being a parent. Volunteering? Volunteering? What? What? How is this a game pack? There's so much stuff in it already. You'll be able to use the phone and take your family to one of several volunteering options. It's a rabbit hole activity like school, and you'll be presented with choices on how to proceed. There are rewards and consequences depending on your choice. Even if it's a rabbit hole thing, you could very easily make a place that you could say they're volunteering at. You could take your family there and you could set all sorts of club traits like temporary family group or maybe even a big volunteering group where you have other sims from other families come and work with your family as you volunteer. You could do stream cleanup at like a park or something like that. Maybe do some fishing. You could do, I don't know, like maybe set some sort of elder home where you have all the elder sims come and they have club groups that meet there and then your club can meet there and interact with them. That would be really interesting. I wonder if you can set it so your sims can interact with like a specific age group. So maybe you could volunteer at a daycare or something like that or school. That would be really fun. Oh my goodness. School projects. 
Children will bring home new school projects to work on after class with parents and siblings as well. These create permanent, hilarious objects like your erupting volcanoes and backyard rockets. They'll come from school, but you can buy them as well. There are several. Rocket, it's so cute. When you launch the best version, it's a two-stage process that returns its parts to the ground via a parachute. That's adorable. That's so cute. There's so much science element that you can do with a lot of the Sims stuff in Sims 4 too that I adore. And let's see. Future medical professionals can practice their stethoscoping skills on teddy bears. That's so cute. Sims can now set the table. Sims can take sack lunches with them to school if it's made for them. Guys, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Sims, um, let's see, children can be tucked into beds just like toddlers already can. Cass has a new walk style, evidently. Acne is a skin detail, and it is not something, let's see, it's not going to be overdone. Teens won't be embarrassed about it every day, so we'll have to figure out. Let's see, the mess on the teen floor in the plate with the stick figure painting or all decor. So the, the stick figure painting plate that I was thinking about is decor. And there's no preteens in the pack, which is understandable. We already have a lot of life traits, so I could understand that. But this is very exciting, guys. I'm pretty blown away. I can't wait. This is going to add so much more interaction within the family. There's already so much stuff to do, and there's stuff that you can do, like, to send your sims to. But being able to see those sort of daily interactions and that way of letting the family unit grow as a family is one of my favorite things about the Sims series, and I'm really looking forward to playing this. And it's gonna come out the day before I go to Taiwan. I may push everything like off my schedule so that I could just play it all day and enjoy it and upload as much as I can. And then after I get used to being in Taiwan, of course I'll be playing it somewhere this summer. This is honestly probably the game pack I have been the most excited about ever because it's so important to me not just to have all these objects and items and ways of dressing our sims up and setting up their house real nice but ways of seeing them interact together is what makes their story so fun for me so I'm really looking forward to this school projects setting the table volunteering as a family that's just really cool. I can't wait to see what the parenting skill is and how it interacts with the children. I can't wait to see just where all of this goes. So what are you guys most excited about? Because I really can't pick. There's just so much. I'm really blown away that this is going to be like a game pack. This seems pretty significant, but it also does seem like something that if you don't want to participate in any of this, now you don't have to worry about it because it's an optional game pack. So I'm very 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 excited i hope you guys are too let me know what you're really looking forward to and i will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>